Hey everyone, this is Andy Rafael from eTechnics.com and today we're doing something that we've never really done before. We've done unboxings, but this is kind of an unboxing of the unboxing. So essentially what we decided to do is get all the products that have come in in the last day or two and just kind of unbox it with you. Now, some of these I know who they're from, I know what they are, some of them I've kind of forgotten, so this is going to be quite interesting for both of us. What we actually done is we've reached out to all the brands that we work with on sort of chassis and things like that and basically said, look, if we're going to be reviewing your chassis like this one, which I know is the Aero Cool Project 7, uh, which I'll show you in a minute, you're not going to want sort of a competitor brand's power supply and cooler in there. So can you send us some stuff so that, you know, we can basically make like a whole ecosystem. So they started off, uh, Aero Cool sent us what looks like a power supply. So this is the... Integrator 500 watt. Now, I don't know if it's just me, but that sounds a bit like a sex robot. Integrator 500, so. Uh, but either way, it's gonna look really nice inside uh, the AeroCool chassis and any other consequent AeroCool chassis that we do in the future. I know for a fact that AeroCool are developing a new range of power supplies, so hopefully as that kind of develops, we can uh, sort of, you know, move on from there and, uh, and start using them. Next one up is from Be Quiet. So once again, I know this is either gonna be a cooler or a power supply. We have got another Be Quiet box here, which is quite big. So I'm guessing this is probably a cooler. That's probably more the power supplies. What we have here is the Dark Rock Pro 3, a 250 watt TDP CPU cooler, a dual fan, probably one of the greatest air coolers on the market at the moment. So really excited for that. Uh, Razcom, now a lot of people on a consumer level aren't gonna know who Razcom are, but they are actually the people behind Notua. Basically Notua are probably the best CPU cooler, sort of air cooler manufacturer on the market. Some of their products are absolutely fantastic. So uh, I'm guessing this here is actually gonna be for AMD's new uh, set of CPUs for Threadripper. We've got the NHU12S TR4 SP3. So yeah, for Threadripper for the TR4 socket. Uh, so we've got that, which I'm guessing is probably a, a lower profile cooler. Uh, I've got the NHU9 TR4 SP3. So uh, again, another CPU cooler. So they've basically catered for kind of all sizes that we need. And then the last one is the uh, NHU14S TR4 SP3. So while we're here, we might as well just have a, a really quick look. So yeah, typical Notua styling, uh, great big sort of brown and beige fan huge heatsink cooler on there and uh, you can see the size of the the thread ripper socket as well so yeah we're gonna have some some fun with that let's put that one down next one we have yeah let's go with this one so this one's almost as big as me ah. more packaging stuff Jesus I'm not actually sure, oh no, there are products in here. Uh, there's one. There's two. Kids screaming and shouting outside. It's always good. Uh, that's just the invoice. I don't need to worry about that. I'm not paying for this stuff. I had a quick look at the invoice and it is from uh, EVGA. I know EVGA were all about quality, but Jesus, like the packaging material is just insane. So in here we have the EVGA closed loop CPU cooler radiator 120 by 120. So this is, I think they call it the CCL12 or CIC120, I don't know. They've got so many different names, but that's the 120 mil. I don't know also whether this is the kind of standard box or anything, um, because it does look a bit kind of basic. So this one's EVGA closed loop CPU cooler, 240 mil. So, but you can see it just looks a bit more like a kind of retail packaging, gives you a, a quick view of what it looks like on the side. Then yeah, be quiet again. So I'm guessing this is probably um, power supplies. It's quite heavy actually. And yeah, apologies if you can hear the kids screaming outside. Uh, right, first one we have is the Dark Power Pro 11, 850 watt. So that's gonna be more than enough to power kind of most systems. Um, then we also have the Dark Power Pro 11, another 850 watt. Don't know why they sent me two. And then they've also sent, I'm running out of space to put boxes now. They also sent the Silent Loop 240 mil, which will fit in pretty much all of their chassis. So when we do come to review their chassis, we can obviously uh, have a look at them inside as well. I'm not quite sure why they sent me two 850 watt power supplies, but thank you very much to be quiet. 
Um, the Project 7, um, I'm just going to show you the box because it's going to be a nightmare trying to get this out on camera. So Project 7 is Aerocool's kind of newest brand. This is the P7 C0 Pro, full RGB lighting, if you can see that as well. And we will have a full video on this soon with that included uh, sex robot power supply as well. So yeah, um, hopefully we're going to be doing some more videos like this kind of based around you know unboxing stuff and kind of like a what's in the box type thing i've seen it before on youtube it seems to work for other people so we thought why not um if you did like this video remember to subscribe thumbs up and give us a comment below if you want to see more videos like this until next time i'm andy rafael from etechnics.com see you later